fokus ke wafi lipstick. Okay, problem nine five. Still, this is a uh, solubility of barium iodate, but the difference is problem nine three. Barium iodate is dissolved in water. Problem nine four. Barium iodate is dissolved in barium nitrate. Okay. Problem nine five. Uh, barium iodate is being dissolved in a mixture of barium nitrate and sodium iodate. Okay. So if you are going to look at barium is a common ion with the solid barium iodate. At the same time, the, the second uh, solution, sodium iodate, iodate is also a common ion with the solid barium iodate. Now, the solvent is a mixture of 200 ml of 0.01 barium nitrate. So, this one is mixed with 100 ml of 0.1 molar sodium iodate. So, this one is redundant. So, this one is... It is being dissolved 100 ml of 0.1 molar sodium iodate per here. 0.1 molar of sodium iodate. Okay. <clears throat> now, before we are going to proceed with determining the molar solubility of barium iodate, so please take note that barium iodate is being dissolved in a mixture of 200 ml of 0.01 molar of barium nitrate and 100 ml of 0.1 molar sodium nitrate. Now, in this case, the solvent, which is a mixture of this one, has also a reaction to be considered. So, initially, if you have 200 ml of 0.01 molar of barium nitrate, that is actually, you are going to compute the, the amount of barium nitrate in number of moles. So, that will be here. So, the number, we will be using millimoles, okay? The, the volume given is in, in and but still we can also use uh, moles. So, to determine the number of millimoles of barium nitrate, so your concentration of barium nitrate, which is 0.01 millimoles per ml, you multiply it with, of course, with the volume of the barium nitrate, which is 200 ml. So, the amount of barium nitrate is 2 millimole of barium nitrate. For sodium iodate, it is 100 ml with a concentration of 0.1 molar. So, the amount of sodium iodate in millimoles will be 10 millimole of sodium iodate. That is taken from the concentration 0.1 and the volume which is 100 ml. So, the amount is uh, 10 millimole of sodium iodate. Now the equation, so here, so again you have here 200 ml of barium nitrate with a concentration of 0.01 sodium iodate, 100 ml with a concentration of 0.1. So the amount in terms of moles, this one is 2 millimole. This one is 10 millimol. Okay? Now, if you have a reaction, of course, you have two reactants, you are going to determine which one, because you have the amount, which one is in excess and which one is the limiting, which one is being consumed. Now, basing on the reaction, basing on the reaction, the ratio between barium nitrate and sodium iodate, that is 1 is to 2. So if you have 2 moles of if you have 2 moles of barium nitrate it will be consumed if or needed to be consumed in how many amount or how many millimole of sodium iodate. So that will be since that is 1 is to 2 if barium nitrate is 2 moles so 
your sodium nitrate will be four moles. And initially, the, the available amount used is 10 millimoles. So therefore, sodium iodate is in exists. The computation also is there. So if you're just going to look at the equation, if you have barium nitrate 2 millimole, so supposedly the value of sodium iodate, so that everything will be consumed, there is no exist, so it will be 4 millimole. But since it is 10 millimole, so there is a 6 millimole exist amount of sodium nitrate. So the computation is here. So basing from the equation there, so the exist reagent is sodium iodate. Now, the question is, how much is uh, being reacted with barium nitrate? So if you have 2 millimoles of barium nitrate, that is the initial given or the amount, using our stoichiometric relationship from the balance equation, so 2 millimoles of sodium iodate for every 1 millimole of for every 1 millimole of barium nitrate. So, what is actually needed so that everything will be consumed is 4 millimole of sodium nitrate. This is the amount of sodium, sodium nitrate that is actually reacted with 2 moles of barium nitrate. So, therefore, sodium iodate is in excess with the amount of 6 millimoles. Okay? So, that is per liter of the solution. Now, if you are going to if you are going to determine the concentration of the exist amount, okay, concentration of exist amount or molarity of molarity of the exist uh, reagent, which is sodium iodate. Okay, so since uh, there are 6 millimol that is the exist amount in moles so in order for us to determine the concentration so we have to divide this one with the volume of the solution the question now is what will be the total volume of the solution take note that this is mixed the two are being mixed with 200 ml of 200 ml of barium nitrate and 100 ml of Sodium iodate. So the total volume now will be 200 plus 100 will be 300 in L. Okay, that is the total volume. So therefore, the concentration now is 6 millimole divided by 300. So that will be 0 0.02. So this is now the concentration of sodium iodate. This is exist, huh? This is the exist, uh, meaning it remains in the solution after mixing barium nitrate and sodium nitrate. But barium nitrate is completely used up. Okay, so once the barium iodate is being being dissolved with the mixture of these two, there will be no more. Uh, barium which is a common ion with the solid because this is completely consumed okay completely consumed so therefore if you are going to have now the to determine the solubility or the molar solubility of barium iodate which is being dissolved with that mixture of barium nitrate and sodium iodate they are going to use the ice method again so initially initially there will be no barium ion. Even if it is a common ion with a barium iodate here, but the, the amount of barium nitrate is completely consumed. Okay? Completely consumed. So for iodate, the one that is in exist. So the exist concentration is 0 0.02. 0 0.02 molar. Okay, take note that that is molar for concentration. So again, the change, so we do not know how much, so that will be negative for the reactants, for the products, once ionized, are all positive, so this will be X, one mole of barium, 
then you have 2 moles of iodate. So this will be 2x. Okay? So same process. So the only difference is here. And the rest will be the same. So at equilibrium, so again, I'll just write horizontal line to emphasize. So get the sum, you just add. So this will be x. And this will be 0 0.02 plus 2x. Or 0 0.02 to 0 0.0200 plus 2x. Okay? So at equilibrium, the concentration of barium ion is x. The concentration of iodate ion is 0 0.02 plus 2x. Okay? So same process from the from the equilibrium constant expression of this reaction. So that will be the concentration of the barium ion times the concentration of iodate ion squared. Again, the, the solubility product constant of barium iodate at uh, 25 degrees Celsius from appendix 2. I forgot to write it in the given. It is 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9. Okay? Am I correct? Sakto ba? 1.57? 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9. The solubility product constant for barium iodate at 25 degrees Celsius. Is equal to the concentration of the barium ion at equilibrium that is just X times the concentration of iodate ion that is 0 0.02 plus 2x squared. Again? Again? So if you're going to expand this one, we'll get a quadratic equation. So this time, again, we are going to assume that X here is whatever is the amount and multiply it by 2. It is uh, very small compared to 0.02. Are we correct? That is 0 0.02 or 0 0.2. 6 divided by 300. So that is 0 0.02. So, so we will assume that this one again is negligible. That is just an assumption. So I should then we'll check later if it is really negligible. So we will try to get the amount of X and multiply it by 2. And we are going to add it with 0 0.02. We will try to check if it is very, very small compared to 0 0.02. Okay? So if this will be negligible, the whole thing here will be cancelled. So there will be no more 2X. So this one will be squared. So you will have x times 0 0.02 squared. And that is equal to 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9. You will try to check. So if you have 0 0.02 squared, that will be 4 times 10. 4 times 10 to the negative 4, then you multiply it with x, so this will be 4.0 times 10 to the negative 4 times x. So it will be 4x, so this is 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9. So it will be 4x, x then would be equal to 1.57 times exponent negative 9 divided by 4 exponent negative 4 and that is 3.925 times 10 to the negative 6 so this will be I'll just write it completely 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9 divided by 4 times 10 to the negative 4 and that is 3.925 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. Okay? So compare now the result.
So this is since it is only one mole of uh, barium, one mole of barium iodate. So therefore, the molar solubility of barium iodate when it is dissolved with a mixture of barium nitrate and sodium iodate is equal to x which is 3.925 times 10 to the negative 6 molar so how would you how would you compare it with the solubility of barium iodate in water, in, in barium nitrate only, and solubility with the mixture of barium iodate, uh, barium nitrate and sodium iodate. So the two, uh, 93 and 94, uh, it was just times 10 to the negative 4. This case that is times 10 to the negative 6. That is very much lower than uh, 9-4 or in barium iodate is being being dissolved with being dissolved with barium nitrate. Okay? So if the solvent is a mixture of different solution, the solubility of course will decrease since there are two common ions. That is the barium ion and the sodium ion. Okay. This is problem 9.5. So you will see the difference between the molar solubility of, in this uh, problem, barium iodate in pure water, the molar solubility of barium iodate in barium nitrate only, and the last one, the solubility of barium iodate in a mixture of barium nitrate and sodium iodate. So as the common ions, in this case, there are two common ions, the barium and the, the, the iodate ion. So the molar solubility of barium iodate decreases. So if it is a mixture of barium nitrate and sodium iodate, the concentration or the solubility of barium iodate is 3.925 times 10 to the negative 6 molar, which is very much lower compared than the solubility in water and solubility with uh, barium nitrate only. That's problem 9.